In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to train the VGG16 model that we previously built and fine-tuned in the last video to classify whether an image is a cat or a dog. In previous videos, I explained some basic principles for working with Keras, and then we moved on to focusing on some of the basics for working with CNNs. It's recommended that you watch those previous sets of videos on my channel before moving forward here, because we'll be focusing on some of the items we learned in those videos and building on them here. It's especially important that you watch the last video that came directly before this one. One. There, we went through the process of building and fine-tuning the VGG16 model, and we'll be picking up directly where we left off there. So our goal has been to build a CNN that can identify whether a given image is a cat or a dog. And we saw in previous videos that when we built a very basic CNN with only one convolutional layer and one dense layer, it performed really poorly. We then attempted to have the model predict on whether images were cats or dogs, and it performed no better than chance with only being accurate on 50% of those predictions. So then we moved on to see how to fine tune an existing model called VGG16 to classify images as cats or dogs. And now we'll be training on our new fine tuned model that we just built and seeing how it performs and compare its metrics to our model that we originally built from scratch. All right, so I'm here in my Jupyter notebook, and this is the last summary of our model that we printed out since we finished fine tuning it. So this is the layers imported from the VGG16 model, and everything is the same as the VGG16 model except for this last layer. We changed it from having an output size of 1000 to having an output size of 2 for our cats and dogs. Now I'm going to move down to my new section of the Jupyter Notebook. The first thing that we're going to do is compile our new model. Now, just recall the model was built in the last video, and all of that is within this same Jupyter Notebook here. So make sure that you have all of this code first before trying to actually compile the new model. All right, so we'll compile the new model. Again, just like in previous videos, I'm using the Atom optimization function with a learning rate of 0 0.0001. We're using categorical cross entropy as our loss function, and our metrics include accuracy. So I'm going to run that. And now we are calling fit generator on our model. And this is word for word the exact same line of code that we used on our original model at the top of the notebook. So we're just calling model.fitGenerator, passing in our train batches, which was our images from our image data generator in our training set. We're setting our steps per epoch equal to four. Recall that the training set has 40 images and our batch size for our training set was set to 10 in previous videos. So 40 divided by 10 is going to give us four steps per epoch. Our validation data is set to our valid batches. Again, this is just our validation set that we generated from an image data generator. Our validation steps are still going to be set to four and we are going to run five epochs with our verbosity being set to level two. So now I'm going to run this and our goal here is to see what type of metrics that we get from this model during training and then we're going to go back and look to see how that compared to our original model that we first built. So it's taking a bit of time to train on this model so I'm going to pause the video and resume after all five epochs have been run. Okay so our model just finished training over five epochs and immediately we can see that we have some pretty outstanding results especially when you can compared to the results that we had in our last model. So just looking at the accuracy here, we are starting at 72.5% and we go all the way up to 97.5%, just over five epochs. And with our validation accuracy, we're starting at 87% and getting up to a 100%. Our loss and validation loss are about the same, starting at around 0.68 and declining down to about 0.66. So now I'm just going to go to the top of my notebook and grab the metrics that were printed whenever we tried trained our original model that we built from scratch. All right, so here they are here. I'm just going to copy this cell and bring it down to our new model so that we can directly compare. Okay, so this is our old output. So as you can see, the loss started out at 7.6 and actually went up over time. Our accuracy started at 52% and went down over time with the same thing being true for our validation loss and validation accuracy. So you can see here just how much of a huge improvement has been made when using a model that's already been trained, the VGG16 model, and simply fine-tuning it to classify images as cats or dogs. So in the next video, we'll take this model and we will use it to predict on the images in our test set, and then we'll compare our predictions from our new VGG16 fine-tuned model to our original model that we built from scratch. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment, and thanks for watching.